I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking question based on linear systems. The question here is points A and B are 90 km apart from each other on a highway. A car starts from A and another from B at the same time. If they go in the same direction, they meet in 9 hours and if they go in opposite directions, they meet in 9 over 7 hours find their speed right you can always pause the video answer this question and then look into my suggestions now uh, the situation is kind of like this so we have a and b which is 90 kilometers apart right so so here we have a this is b and the distance between them is 90 kilometers they say if they move in the same direction means let's say both are moving in this direction then they meet after nine hours so so they meet after nine hours correct however if they move in the opposite direction that is that is let us say in this direction then they meet after nine over seven hours So that's the equation and we need to find their speed so so that is the situation how are you going to do it so let's begin with our statement so a b in kilometers per hour so a and b b speed in kilometers per hour let us say for each right so car A is moving at A kilometers per hour, B is moving at B kilometers per hour. And in case one, let's say they are moving in same direction, right? In that case, they're traveling for nine hours each, right? So when they move in the same direction, they travel for nine hours. Now, what we know is that distance is speed into time. So what happens? So distance covered by A is, let's say they, they meet at point C, let us say, right, C. In that case, you realize that the distance A to C is how much? We say A to C, that distance from A to C will be speed a times time taken 9 kilometers so we can say 9a do you see that 9a 9 is the time and uh, so basically what we are doing here is we are just relating distance with speed and time so distance d is speed into time so in case 1 we have speed as a and b and time as nine hours so ac is 9a and what is bc bc will be 9b correct and the difference in two that is to say ac minus bc that is difference of their distance is 90 kilometers do you see that a is traveling 90 kilometers extra which means that we have an equation here. These are the distances, right? That 9a minus 9b is equal to 90. Do you see that? Dividing by 9, we get a minus b equals to 10. So we get one equation, a minus b equals to 10. Now let's analyze the second scenario that means opposite directions so when they're traveling let's say they meet at a point which is d okay but now you realize that ad plus db is is 90 right so we know ad plus db we're talking about this distance is 90 right total distance is 90 but how much is a to d a is traveling with speed of a time is 
9 over 7, right? So time in this case is 9 over 7. So therefore, now I can write down my equation as a times 9 over 7 or 9 over 7a plus the same time 9 over 7b is this time equals to 90. Perfect. Dividing by 9, multiplying by 7. Let's first divide by 9. So we get a over 7 plus b over 7 is 10. Or we can say a plus b is equal to 70. Correct? So we get another equation here, which is a plus b is 70. So we have two equations to work with. Correct? So the two equations are, let's rewrite these equations, a minus b equals to 10 and a plus b is equals to 70. Now we can easily find a and b, right? Now simple, correct? So let's say this is our equation number 1, this is equation number 2. If I add 1 and 2, if I add, I mean, equation number 1 plus equation number 2, what do I get? I get twice a is equals to 80 or a equals to 40, half of 80. Is it okay? If I subtract, right, so 2b, if I do equation, equation 2, take away equation 1 because this is higher number. So we get 2b equals to 60 or b equals to 60 divided by 2, which is 30. Do you see that? And so we get our answer that a is 40 kilometers per hour and b is 30 kilometers per hour, right? So that is how you could solve this question. Do you get it? So it's kind of a tricky question. However, you realize how we have utilized the distance between the two given to us as 90, informing two different equations and then solving them. I hope that really helps you to understand a very important concept. Feel free to make your suggestions and your views. And if you like and share my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.